Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of The Crew 2. I played it on the Xbox One, it's also available on the PS4. So to put it simply, this is another driving game, and unlike the first The Crew, this has pretty much no story. It's basically, you are a up-and-coming racer, not even really a street racer, just you'll drive anything, you'll race anything, and now the pros want you. And you want into the pro leagues, I guess. I mean, that basically is the entirety of the story. You climb the ranks. There really isn't much of a story. You have some rivals. It's not that engaging. It's a very loose idea that's just meant to give you a reason to drive and fly and... I don't know what you do with a boat. Sail? But they're speedboats, so not sail? As for the audio in the game, I do enjoy the soundtrack. It's pretty well done. Most of the voiceover work is well done and it didn't really drive me insane, so that's always a plus since a lot of racing games it can be straight garbage. Then you got the sound effects for when you're flying, driving, or in a boat, and they all sound good. I didn't have any problems with them. I never ran into like missing sound effects, so no real complaints there. As for the gameplay, as I've said before, there are boats, planes, and cars. There's a variety of races for each. And they all work well enough. And, I mean, they're there, but honestly, there's never any tension when you're doing them. I mean, you always want to win, but it doesn't feel like the stakes are there most of the time. And obviously, if the stakes aren't there, you don't feel as connected. You don't feel the need to try quite as hard. Yes, you want to win, but the drive isn't always there. Now, as there are a variety of races, your goal is to try and win or at least place in the top three. A lot of the times it's placed in the top three and maybe that's why the drive isn't there. But so you gain reputation, you can unlock more races, faster cars, more money, etc. I don't necessarily enjoy the way you trigger some of the races. I think it's weird and pointless and just I don't know why. You pull up to a spot, it opens a gate, and then you drive through to the starting line. I don't see why it's that way. There is no great reason for it. And that's the way it is for boats, planes, and cars. It's weird and stupid. Addressing weird and stupid, there are certain areas where you can swap out and buy cars, and you go around in first person. Like, you are your character walking around, but there's no reason for it. It's just kind of there. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't necessarily take anything away either, but it just feels utterly pointless. I will say they added a loot system, which we have seen in other games. This is not as garbage as I have seen in other games, but it's also kind of weird in that you can't sell loot. You also can't sell cars, which I don't like. You have to just collect. You can't sell them. I don't necessarily want every fucking car in the game. I specifically want the cars that I want. But I have a bunch of cars that I unlocked and one that I don't want to drive, and I can't get rid of them and sell them so that I can buy a better car. And when you scrap parts, you're scrapping parts. They're gone. You don't get money from it. There's no real reason apart from freeing up your inventory. Lastly, I'm going to say I wasn't blown away by the car selection. I was actually really disappointed by the car selection in this game. Well, vehicles in general. I mean, planes and boats don't mean a lot to me, but cars I know enough about to be interested in, and I know which ones I like and don't like, and a lot of the ones I like weren't available. As for the controls, the controls work fine. I was really used to them. The flying controls are familiar and pretty easy to access. The only thing I didn't like was when I was trying to perform certain stunts, specifically the loops. It wouldn't register all the time, and I don't know that that was really a control issue. It might have been just the game itself having issues with that. But when I was driving, I really enjoyed it. When I was doing the boat, I really enjoyed it. It worked very well. Except for, when it comes to the drag races, that... Ugh... Poorly mapped out controls right there. If I didn't have an elite controller, it would have sucked majorly. Okay, not majorly, but it isn't a well thought out way of doing things. So when you're doing a drag race, you have to manually shift and it's on the right bumper to shift up. Problem with that is most people are probably using their index finger, specifically their right index finger, to hold down the right trigger, which is the gas pedal. You can see where the problem lies with that. You end up kind of doing a thing like this, where you got two fingers on it, and it's just weird and stupid and poorly thought out. Fortunately, I had an Elite controller, so I just mapped it onto my paddles, because also I used that in Dead for Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Bumpers for life in that game. But point being, I had that, so I was able to shift easily, but otherwise the way they have it mapped is stupid. That being said, controls overall worked well. I felt they were very responsive. Lastly, the graphics. It's a good-looking game, but there's something that feels kind of 
off about it visually and I'm not sure what it is. Not that the cars don't look good, the roads don't look good, just something about the whole visual appeal of it is just not quite as appealing. Not that it's ugly, I just, I don't know, I didn't get into the look and the aesthetics of it. So not to drag this out, but it feels very familiar. It feels like a game I may or may not have played that is an Xbox exclusive and it feels like they're trying very hard to be that game. That being said, everything feels very safe. It feels very uninspired overall. I gotta admit, I'm disappointed by this. I mean, the whole switching vehicles, that's cool and all, but I'm just not in love with the game as a whole. It works well, but it doesn't inspire you to really try. So overall, I'm fully comfortable saying, feel free to skip this game. If you're really into like arcadey racers and you don't have one to play right now, fine, whatever. I would honestly still wait till it comes down in price or something. But overall, I'm just, not inspired by it. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me if there's ever been a game that you were just completely uninspired by. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.